one more rich and whole Featured like him, like him with friends possessed Desiring this man's art and that man's skull With what I most enjoy and turn to please Yet in these thoughts Myself almost despising Happily I think of thee Sweet love, remember such well brings that then I scorn to change my state with. There's no big selection, but we're clean. What size are you? Uh, I'm a, uh, a 15 neck, uh, 32 sleeve, uh, 29 waist, 31 inseam, and uh, my shoe size is 90. Small. Thanks, sir. You don't have to call me, sir. I'm a con, like you. You call me a screwdriver, a driver. You can call me. Just don't make it too early in the morning. After you, Mr. Smith. Sweet number four. Hey, no school today, Mr. Smith. Just knock twice and kiss in your ear. Hey, hey baby, I saw him first. Come on, pale face. The old man wants to say goodbye to you. See you, Rocky. That is, if they ever let you back out on the streets. Let's go, pale face. That great, big, beautiful world's out there waiting for you. Smith, I'll give you regulations later. Y yes, sir. Tiber, show him how to make his bunk. That is, if you ain't too busy. Is that my bunk? You're not gonna sleep with me, fish face.
Who are the other guys in here? If I had the wings of an angel and the ass of a big buffalo, I'd fly to the heavens above me and shit on the people below. Come on, come on, come on. Queenie, uh -huh. get your ass over here. Get my what where? I said get your fucking ass down here. Now, honey, I think you are forgetting that I am the lady of the plantation. Dig this. If you don't get your hunky hump down here, you'll be the dead lady of the plantation. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. My head is bending low. I'm coming. Now, what is this shit? Hey, what's the weather report? What are you talking about, weather report? You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, it looks like, um... Snow. Okay, bums, keep moving. This ain't no garden party. Well, I may not know my gardens, but I know a pansy when I see one. Right, Mona? Jesus Christ. Keep moving. Hey, Queenie, you forgot me. Are you all right, sailor? Out of sight, baby. Okay, okay, baby. Stay out of the sun. Move your ass. Cigars, cigarettes, dildos. <laughs> you boys have a new baby in your house. Eh? Huh? Charming. Okay, Smith. Try to get along with these characters and keep your nose clean. Keep your bunk tidy and no talking after lights out. I'll give you a work assignment tomorrow, that's all. Yes, sir. What's your name? Smith. That's all? Just plain Smith? It's enough. My name's Jan. Your name is Jan? God damn it, your name is not Jan, it's Mona Lisa! Baby. <laughs> My name is Queenie. Of all I survey. Give him time to take his pants off, super stud. Did you meet Rocky? Yeah. Have you talked to Rocky? Well, Rocky thinks he's the big rooster in here. <laughs> wow. Hey, punk. Welcome home. It's my first time. Guess you shouldn't be here at all, huh? Did you get a bum rap? What the judge wants to know, honey, is... Well, what special talent brought you this vacation? What'd you do? Are you a shoplifter? Maybe you're like myself. <laughs> do you make all of your house calls when nobody's at home? No. You can trust me. Come on, baby, what'd you do? Were you picked up in the park? Did you roll a drunk? Did you rape the girl next door? Look, I, I, I really don't feel like talking about it right now, if you don't mind. Well, the side type, huh? No, I, I just mind my own business. Well, honey, you better tell us, because I can't stand the suspense. You can ask Mona. She screwed all around the mulberry bush. Little bitch. I had to go all the way to the friggin' office to find out. Why don't you leave him alone? How long's your sentence? Six months. Mine too. But you'll get used to the routine. What's your ambition, kid? You want to kiss ass? Will you please ignore him? It's hard to do. Not if you listen to the politicians. 
politicians in here. Honey, we have all kinds of politicians in here. Now, I'm a politician. <laughs> Mother is indeed a politician. You see, we're the ones who are smart enough to go right up to the front office and get a few of the better things, you know? Well, we get um, new shirts, and we get press trousers, and I get lightweight booties. And, of course, we get tailor-made cigarettes. Oh, schmuck. You just take your deck of weed, and you give them to your mother. My mother? Me, honey. Who else? Tailor-maids are hard to get. But they'll give you tobacco once a week, and you can use that to trade for things. Thank you. I'll wangle you a good deal, and you won't have to do any hard time. I do have friends. The faggot wants to fix you up with an old man. She thinks you're ripe for tomato season. Well, if the faggot does fix him up, baby, I'm going to fix him up with a star. And no walk-on like yourself. <laughs> Look, uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I'm not queer. I got a girl. You've got a girl? You've got a girl? Well, where is she? Where's your girl? Where'd she go, honey? Where's your girl? Is she in here? Help, help! I think there's a woman in here! <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Smitty. You should have brought these big tits with you. Hey, Rocky, give me the snaps. Give me those snaps. Let's, Let's get ahead of a real ball. Come on. Oh, Rocky, give me the picture. Come on, give me those. Rocky? Rocky, Rocky give me the picture. Help, babe. Oh, Help, babe. I don't have them. I don't have them, new boy. Come on. <laughs> Run, bitch. Here, Smitty. You don't have to take them. You don't I'll smart him up. <laughs> Help. Well, you're just too good for the friggin' world, bitch. Why don't you stop it and get off? Hey, give me the job. I'll fix her up real good. She'll get it soon enough. Poor bitch. Look at yourself. Why don't you fix your clothes? 
You ain't had a friggin' thing that fits you since you fell through the door. I get enough. Well, I like everything special, Mona. I can't feel sexy in rags. I don't really care what I look like in here. Obviously. You see, Smitty, I try to sharpen up the chicks that I like. And the guys. I could get something for my headache. Why don't you get something for your headache, baby? Come on, I'll help you. Poor abused Mona. Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters? You didn't make my bed. Guys. Let me tell you about Mona's independence. First goddamn day she was here, dear, she tripped into the gymnasium. She was gonna be friendly, see? Well, a bunch of the dudes are playing basketball, and they spot dumbass standing along the side. So they con her into the storeroom to get some equipment. In she goes, alone. Oh, let's see now, where in the world could that equipment be? Is it in here? <laughs> Eight guys followed her in, closed the door, and banged her into the floor. She had to hold onto the wall just to walk for a week. And now she's public property. Honey, you can't be independent in here unless you've got somebody to back you up. And one is a lot better than eight. How can they get away with something like that? Oh, it was an accident. Wasn't it, Rocky? It was a terrible, terrible accident. Want to go gangbang, eh? Hey, aren't they supposed to give me a work assignment or something? After breakfast. Give me some toilet paper, man. Maybe you'll come work in the table shop with us. He's our little working girl over here, Mona. See, she spends all day sewing pants for all the guys to wear. See, she only got one complaint. She can find nothing in them when she finished. Is that what I'm going to be doing all day, for Christ's sake, sewing pants? Oh, honey, I doubt it. The tailor shop and the laundry room are especially for the girls. Did you see my toothpaste? But I love the laundry since you made me poor, lady. <laughs> the only place left in here I can still get bleach. To keep myself a natural blonde. It's easier to show your ass bending over a tub than under a sewing machine. You've got a one-track mind, Rocky. It's all dirt. Yeah. My shovel's clean. Oh, well, I don't see how, dear. Every time you get in the shower, you got it up somebody's ditch. <laughs> I think you have something on your nose, darling. <laughs>
just staring at you, stupid shit. What did you do? Put it back. Okay. Mother. You eat it. Die! Get my nose! Betty? Yeah? I hope they leave him in there to rot. Even Jan. Jan who? Jan. He's like a, a different person when Rocky's not around. What's that supposed to mean, Doctor? I mean, he's not so nervous and all that. Well, she makes me nervous with all that reading shit. Do you know she's going to do Shakespeare at the Christmas show? Shakespeare at the Christmas show. Reading. What's she trying to prove? It's a relief to read once in a while. There are other ways to get you relief. Queenie. Yes. Cool it. Tomorrow's another day.
What do you want? You ask we to. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna call a guard. Good idea. I'll call him. Hey, guard! Playing the funny games again, huh? Rocky. We're just having some fun. You wouldn't hurt the kid. Fuck off. Just now. Good. Uh, what about the uh, uh, Ketsa? I won't bother you anymore. Huh? 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 with a man getting his oats. Nobody. Hurry, sir, please, for God's sake, I'm on an errand of mercy. Oh. Merci beaucoup. la -da! Hi, fellas. Here, darling, read. Don't watch this damn thing. You'll get pimples. Oh, how sweet. But you may rise. You'd better get up, dear. That's how I started. Cigars, cigarettes, Vaseline. You gotta do it, Oh, a man with taste. How are you, baby? Doctor, this patient is dead. <laughs> Welcome to death row. Hello, Rabbi. Tell me something. How'd you uh, get this beat? From Screwdriver. Who else? Oh. <laughs> 
he wants me. So how's your love life? Oh, a bit on the sick side, like you can see. Listen, is he asleep? Yeah. He's always asleep. My mother has a small shopping list there. Thanks all. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Stocks are a bit low, but I can get you a few things. All right, first of all, I need some peroxide. I've been using laundry bleach. Are you ready? It's doing a Fanny Skeffington number on my head. Oh, and Mona wants some aspirin. And I need adhesive tape. Not this shit, though. Two inches, huh? And some cold cream. And do you have any uppers? Speed kills, baby. You still taking that shit? Only when I swallow, dear. Have you got them or not? Yeah, I got it. Just the uppers? You don't want any downers? Downers? I need downers. This dump is a downer. I need ups, darling. Ups! Ups, 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 ups. Hey. Do you, uh, need anything for that new kid in your cell? I've got everything for the new kid in my cell. Huh. Uh, get ready for the Christmas show, eh? I bet you are. I'm getting ready for the Christmas show. I've got my routine worked out. Are you ready for Mona, dear? She's going to do Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. But not me. I am going to disrobe 18 yards of black cotton. Mona's going to sew herself blind. And I think I'm getting a pair of heels from Warden Gasher's maid. Da -da 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 -da. Jesus. She must be big. I'll fit in the goddamn shoes if I have to chop my toes off. Um, mirror, mirror. Can you think of anything I can use for a wig? Wig? We'll get you some cotton batten. We'll make you look like one of them sex symbols. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Cheese it, the cops. I'm leaving, sir. Just get what you can, huh, baby? And I'll pick it up later. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I'm glad to see you're getting better. Hey, man, you didn't get my Vaseline. Supper. Goodbye, Ben. Goodbye. I'll be back in the morning with a prune douche. Well, thank you. Can't go on. Oh, my never one is gone. What a bummer. <laughs> Lock up, you guys. Make it snappy. <laughs> that cat seltzer's gonna kill him before he gets to Sun City. <laughs> Uh, you know, 
know, Smitty, I've been thinking, man. You're not too sharp. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> I don't know. There's some things that you need to know, and you just... I don't think you know them, man. You know? Like, you gotta watch out for the faggots around here. streets again. I'm gonna get me a couple of sharp chicks and put them out in the hustle for me. Now that, that's where the bread is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Women. <laughs> I don't know. Let me tell you, man, they were falling all over my ass. <laughs> this rich cat just to make a quick buck you know <laughs> I took him for just about everything he had I had it made I had a park avenue penthouse weekly allowance anything I wanted I got and I had eyes for an XK I must have really been stoned because uh, he talked into a real freak scene. He has an M root, you know. And uh, he wanted to turn around and do it to me. I left him strapped to the bedpost and I split. What happened? I sold the car, most of the jewelry. Son of a bitch got me picked up for car theft. And when I'm back out in the streets again, I'm gonna even the score up. You know, Smitty, uh, I think I could make a real sharp guy out of you. If you were to uh, open yourself up to a little advice. Like what? You can't get chummy with the whole joint. Especially the faggots. You know, I sure as hell don't want anybody thinking I'm queer. I'll tell you something, man. You're a sitting duck for a gangbang if you haven't got an old man. I'd like to be your old man. Wait, what do you say? I don't know. You want those guys to pile on you the way they do on Mona? No. Well? Well, what do you mean? I mean, uh... Like a buddy? Yeah. Like I kill any son of a bitch who lays a hand on you. You, know, you look out for each other. Okay. Okay, and, and thanks.
want to get cleaned up? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we should. Cover yourselves. Here comes the man of the house. Good morning, Mr. Man. <laughs> mm -mm. You don't do that anymore. He does. Yesterday we had two men. Now we only got one. Me. <laughs> Do it, baby. And when you get through with that, Cinderella, get your ass in the fireplace. Oh, louder, dear, louder.
I found these for your costume. Four. For the gloves. Gloves. A long pair of black socks. Don't worry. They'll look all right with the bells. Well, honey, they better. Look, why don't you measure me while you got the chance? Come on, honey, I ain't got all day. 47. I'm the tallest showgirl in the business. Listen straight. 38. Moni, your hands are cold. Jesus Christ, what do you think you're measuring a peasant? Uh -huh. Well, what is it? 33. Bullshit! Mona. Ah. Mona, what about the tits? Huh? The boobs. The tits. Are three too many? What size do you think they ought to be, Daddy? Uh. Not the sheep! <laughs> You're gonna spoil your lunch. Oh, a con connoisseur. What's the verdict? 48. Oh, bingo. <laughs> My costume's almost ready, but it needs ironing, Queenie. Well, I hope it gets ironed, honey. Listen, when she finishes the top, will you wire it for me? You got to wire you in. Oh, there. thank you. Hmm. Mona? These are very nice, honey. Hmm. Mona, do something about Queenie's flat ass. You just fix the goddamn machine, all right? Baby, it is a flat ass. Where's your face? Smitty. Hey, Smitty. What? What do you want? Roll me some smokes. What's your girlfriend's name? Kathy. She's pretty. Thanks. Oh, that's my parents and my twin sister, Ophira. Ophira? Yeah. It's nice. What's that page thing? Oh, it's a sonnet. Shakespeare. Do you want to hear it? Sure. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I, all alone, beweep my outcast state and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries. Wait a second. When in disgust... When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I, all alone, beweep my outcast state. Yeah. And trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries. And look upon myself and curse my fate. Wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured. That doesn't sit on my bed anymore. That makes two of us, then. What's mine is yours, kid. Yeah, well, I only want what's mine. Now look, uh, on the outside, there's a little Chinese restaurant. Chinaman owns it, but Rocky runs it. Now, anybody that gives me a bad time, my boys hold him and I change his face a little bit. You don't like him to swing too free, huh? You gotta hold him for you? There's a spot across from the park. I'll give you another chance. 
Guess who runs that? The park commissioner. I run things on the outside. And I run them in here, too. All right, Rocky. We get the point. Leave him alone. You weren't talking to me, were you? Just don't touch him. Lay off, that's all. Please, Rocky, we were just... You shut up. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Trying to put me down in front of Mona? You put yourself down. You shouldn't talk to me like that. I've been fixing it up with Driver for us to move into D dorm together. I've got plans for us, man. Yeah, well, let's not overdo this together in a shit, huh? Okay. I guess I'll have to arrange for a little extra gym tomorrow, Smitty. Fellas in the dorm are gonna want to meet you. Initiation, they call it. I'm thinking about tomorrow, Smitty. No. No what? No, no extra gym. Get smart with me. Understand? And don't tell me who I can slap around. man, huh? Let's go. Six. Help, 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 help. Oh, help, I'm being followed. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, did you have a nice shower? All right, I want to know what you've all been doing while Mother was out shopping. And I want to know what the hell you do up at that hospital. Yeah. I show the surgeon my stretch marks. I bet if I give you a quick frisk right now, I'd find myself... Scissors? And maybe a sharp scalpel tucked in the seam of your pants, eh? Oh, God, do. I can't wait to feel your hard, callous hands on my satin smooth body. I'd as soon have syphilis. <laughs> Who's she? Any relation to Gonorita? Okay, smartass. Excuse me, but of course. Uh. Uh. Oh. You know, sir, the way you've been belching and turning green, maybe your stomach ulcer is going to sour into cancer. Oh, pardon you. Will the rest be up in a minute? 
What do you do with the rest of that cook you get from the hospital, man? Eh? Up that goes on your backside. Sir, it, it's really no secret. I just take the cold cream and I get a little dust, see? And I mix it together very carefully and then I sell it to the screws for mascara. Oh, it's the latest thing in my new line of pig products. Brutality! Brutality! <laughs> From one pig to another. Yeah, I hope this fucking time I get a pair of pants with crease on them. <coughs> it's just too too bad. You ain't gonna get it. Rat face! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't talking much these days, huh? What's the matter? You chicken? Yeah, maybe you're chicken when you ain't got a tink up in your hand, huh? I was solitary. <laughs> Cold? You know, Rocket, you ain't seen nothing yet, you know? See? If I don't get you, I get that little punk of yours. You better keep out of the gym, you know what I mean? I kick his ass every day. Why? Come here. Smitty alone. <laughs> well, don't tell me you got eyes for him too, huh? I didn't say that. I said leave the kid alone. I ain't interested in him. He bugs me, that's all. Hey. That's a lot. You dig it? I dig it. I ain't gonna touch him. You know, rat face, you keep fucking around with that college fag, you know? See, he may turn around one day and kick you right in the ass. You dig? Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Where's my lighter, huh? Oh, Jesus Christ, somebody took my... Hey, Rocket! Hey, Rocket! Rocket, come on, give me my lighter, man. I don't want no hassle here. Listen, man, this thing can break up my lighter. Come on, give me my lighter, man. What is there to be the problem here, Ferguson? Can't you handle the prisoners properly? This man seems to think he's lost something. He probably left it in his cell. Now, bullshit! He took my lighter, sir. Do you accuse one of these men of taking your property, Catsolino? Yes, that's right, sir. I think Tibbet took it. That's right, I know he took it. I left it back there. He took it. That's a serious charge, Casolino. Well, you see, sir, I want my lighter back. You see, I had it a long time. It's got St. Christopher on it, but I... I don't care if it has a Star of David on it, Casolino. Peters, search this man. Yes, sir. I believe there is a lighter here, sir. Your lighter, Catsalino, I don't see any saints or virgins on it. No, that ain't mine, sir. You see, sir, mine, I'd like to back there. I'm afraid you're a troublemaker, Catsalino. Oh, Jesus Christ, sir. I mean, you got to believe me. You see, I left my lighter back there. The two people... Perhaps you'd like us to search Ferguson, a long-time trustee. Is that what you suggest, Catsalino? <laughs> sir, please, I don't want any trouble. You see... I mean, see, I had this light a long time. I, I just want my light You'll back. You just you know? nothing, Catsalino. You've made a serious charge of theft against a fellow inmate, and it's been proven false. Well, you won't get off so lightly this time, Catsalino. Sir. Uh, Peters, take this man back to his cell. Whoop it up, Tipper. Sir, you got to believe me. You see, I love the light of... You come with me. Oh, Jesus. I, I mean, oh, my God. I Listen, I don't care. I tell you what. I tell you what, sir. I mean, I tell you what. I mean, let, let's make a deal, all right? I mean, let's forget about the light, huh? No. No. No, no, please, no, no! No! God!
bullshit. You prick. Which one is it? Catsalino, sir. Remove the body. Pneumonia. How long was he in the hole? He was whipped and beaten. These things do happen. Sign the certificate. Yes, sir. I got something for you. I need your fucking lighter. You do, dear. So you can light your old man's cigarettes. I think she's jealous, Smitty. Of what? Maybe because Rocky and Smitty are such good friends. Oh, I can tell. But you gotta stop living in sin, kids. Come on, come on, legalize it. So you can have 14 babies. Retarded. I'm not jealous, Rocky. I'm really not. But I do hate to see a nice guy playing pussy to a third-rate hustler. <laughs> Don't push me, faggot. Oh, shit. You're talking to Queenie, baby. Not your punk, not Mona, and not Katzo. How come you're so smart for a homosexual? How come you're so dumb for a faggot? Where'd you get the lighter? It's a cat's hose. But he won't need it now, will he? Screwdriver give you this? What'd you have to give him in return? Anything for old time's sake? Screwdriver told me all about Rocky's first semester here. When Rocky was a virgin. Wasn't it Screwdriver who gave you your coming out party? I believe he made you debutante of the year. Did it hurt, Rocky? Roll me some smokes for later, Smitty. Then you can get ready for your shower. Help, it's Rocky. time and um, I'd like to ask you a question now I know you don't smoke and yet you spend half your goddamn time just rolling smokes for that turd why can you hear him we're buddies why'd you make that mistake when you first came in here I said to myself Miss Self there's a man a man who's going to want to be on top. Of what? Of everything. What am I supposed to do, let you pick me an old man? Look, you don't have to punk for Rocky. Unless you dig it. Now, I know he's got a few friends, honey, but my friends can take care of the storeroom crowd. Now, you've got to prove yourself in here, baby. I can go out there and tell everybody you're ruling here, goddammit, if you wrap Rocky up. So what am I supposed to use, crap paper? Are you afraid of him? Just figured he's the only way to keep those other pricks off my back. You gonna take a shower with him tonight? I wish I wasn't. Go ahead and I'll give you six. What are you getting at? If something were to happen in there, I would give you six. You want me to fight him? Well, have you got what it takes? All stored up. Then let it go. Look, you won't have to roll any more of his cigarettes. You won't have to make his bed. You won't have to shine his shoes. You won't have to kiss his ass. And you won't have to get fucked every night. Now, come on. All you gotta do is go in there and turn on the shower. All the faucets. 
the regular trip. And when he's not looking, Pearl Harbor the prick. What's in it for you? A mink coat. Look, I just don't like to see you getting pushed. Hi, darling. How's the funeral? Was Katso there? Come on, let's go get this shower. I'm feeling real good tonight. <laughs> You're gonna learn how to roll these things. if you want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to practice our Christmas carols. Come on, everybody. Fuck! You ready? Silent night, holy night. That's it. All is cold. All is right. Mona and I are going to do a lesbian tag on the show. If these red shoes, I can't stop. La da 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 dee dee.
The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth. Oh, 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 gentle oh, rain oh, from oh, heaven oh, oh, on the place beneath. Oh, is twice left. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. His mightiest and the mighty. Take it out! 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 The person is above this sceptre sway. It is embedded in the hearts of kings. This is an attribute of God himself. In the in Chicago. <laughs> but your good fairy came through. Make a wish! Uh. Oh. Mona did such a wonderful job with her Shakespeare that I'd like to pay my respects. Ooh. <laughs> Mona gave you Shakespeare and some grass. Grass? <laughs> but Mona and her Shakespeare gives me gas. <laughs> Miss Mona is serene, but I'm a different queen when it comes to to action, action.
your ass real good, Queenie. Promise. could uh, uh move my stuff up and uh, put your stuff in the bottom i'd like it a lot if you could uh, do that right now rocky think you could uh, move your stuff out of the way and move my stuff over here. I think I want this bed. <laughs> it's mine. Hmm? That bed's mine. It belongs to me. Wrong. It used to belong to you. But, uh... I want it. Okay, man, if you want it, you can have it. I just don't want any trouble, okay? Good. Now, if you'll, uh, 
just move my stuff over for me? What are you studying in for, man? I said, if you want the bed, you can have it. Just, just move it yourself, okay? Rocky, I don't think you understand. You're gonna move it. No. No what? No, I'm not gonna move it. Huh. You're kidding. Come on, Rocky. You're gonna move it. Aren't you, Rocky? Rocky? You're gonna move it, aren't you? Huh? Huh? in permanent segregation, Tibber. <laughs> Wait a minute! I'll give you one last chance, Tibber. Come on out. Those bitches are all in this together, aren't you? Aren't you? Put down that shiv and come on out. You just come in here and take it from me. Okay, Tibber, okay. We'll play it your way. Watch him, Sullivan. Yeah! I'll get to you, you bastard. Jesus Christ, I think we got a suicide.
are you staring at me for, you prick? out of the way. I don't have to put up with Queenie shit anymore. You know, I'm just sorry I didn't get to push Rocky's face into the floor one more time. It's too late for that. Yeah. You know, Jan, I've been thinking about you and me. What do you mean? You know what I mean. you never talk about your life on the outside? What's she say? How'd you get in here? Got busted for grass. My old man turned me in. How about you? It just happened. How can a thing like getting in here just happen? My life's like that. I accept whatever happens. Well, that tells me a lot. Sorry. It's just that I don't think I can tell you. Jesus, forget I asked. Okay. I was walking home from the campus one night. These four guys came over and started to hassle me. They pushed me around into this hallway of the apartment building. They took my money and, and then four. They raped me. Finally, a cop came over and stopped them. But in court, they said that I had come on to them. Did you? Of course not. My lawyer didn't have time to prepare a proper defense. Six months. Well, things are going to be different from now on. Different? What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm on my way to being a politician. I don't have to take anybody's crap anymore. I'm gonna even a few things up. It can't be done. Shit, Mona, what I'm saying is, from now on, you and I are gonna get the best of everything. Your shirts, lightweight boots, anything good that's going around, we're gonna get in on. What do you say to that? What do you expect me to say? I've heard all that before. Well, you might say thanks. I'm gonna have to say it to Driver. You might even say I like you, Smitty. What's happening to you, Smitty? What do you mean? Look, I discovered I'm human. Come on, you're not blind. Who's been acting like your old man lately? I have an old man. You know that. I don't want that situation. You just think you don't. Look, Mona. When I came in here, I didn't know from down. I made a few stupid moves, but I'm learning. I can see that. Look, I'm gonna have to give you all this stuff. You know what I need. Haven't you got any feelings for me? Sure I have, Smitty. But not the kind you're getting at. Not with you. What did you say? I said, not with you, Smitty. What, are you saving yourself with that bunch of bastards in the gym? Is that what you like, being forced into a corner, huh? Better that way. Better. Any guy that grabs you and gets you, I've seen it. I've got no choice. Hang on. I thought you liked me. I do, Smitty. I like you a lot. See, I, I knew it. But don't be scared. Smitty, stop this. Now, come on, we haven't got all day. Smitty, you're looking for a girl. Well, I smell something. What in the hell is wrong with my body? Nothing, Smitty. It's very... Smitty, please don't ask me to. Why not? You've done it before. What? Not the same thing. 
What my body has to do is one thing. But who I am, what my mind Shut is... Shut up! What are you trying to do to me? What are you trying to do to me? Ah, oh, shit, screw off. Look, you've got power now. What you want from me is sex. And all you're offering me is indifference. I don't want that. Not from you. Do you think I wanted your goddamn body? I just wanted a little reaction to mine. And only because I'm caught in this hole. You little... <laughs> You see? You see? Turn 
like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's all and that man's soul. With what I most enjoy, intensively, for thy sweet love, remembered such well friends that then I scorn to change my. Thy 
sweet love Remembered such well friends That then I scorned to change my fate with me No big selection, but we're clean. What size are you? Uh, I'm a, uh, a 15 neck, uh, 32 sleeve, uh, 29 waist, 31 inseam, and uh, my shoe size is 90. Small. Thanks, sir. You don't have to call me, sir. I'm a con, like you. You call me a screwdriver, a driver. You can call me. Just don't make it too early in the morning. After you, Mr. Smith. Sweet number four. Hey, no school today, Mr. Smith. Just knock twice and kiss in your ear. Hey, hey baby, I saw him first. Come on, pale face. The old man wants to say goodbye to you. See you, Rocky. That is, if they ever let you back out on the streets. Let's go, pale face. That great, big, beautiful world's out there waiting for you. Smith, I'll give you regulations later. Y yes, sir. Tiber, show him how to make his bunk. That is, if you ain't too busy. Is that my bunk? You're not gonna sleep with me, fish face. Who are the other guys in here? If I had the wings of an angel and the ass of a big buffalo, I'd fly to the heavens above me and shit on the people below. Come on, come on, come on. Queenie, uh -huh. get your ass over here. Get my what where? I said get your fucking ass down here. Now, honey, I think you are forgetting that I am the lady of the plantation. Dig this. If you don't get your hunky hump down here, you'll be the dead lady of the plantation. Oh, I was coming. I'm coming. My head is bending low. I'm coming. Now, what is this shit? Hey, what's the weather report? What are you talking about, weather report? You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, it looks like, um... Snow. Okay, 
bums. Keep moving. This ain't no garden party. Well, I may not know my gardens, but I know a pansy when I see one. Right, Mona? Jesus Christ. Keep moving. Hey, Queenie, you forgot me. Are you all right, sailor? Out of sight, baby. Okay, okay, baby. Stay out of the sun. Move your ass. Cigars, cigarettes, dildos. <laughs> you boys have a new baby in your house. Eh? Huh? Charming. Okay, Smith. Try to get along with these characters and keep your nose clean. Keep your bunk tidy and no talking after lights out. I'll give you a work assignment tomorrow, that's all. Yes, sir. What's your name? Smith. That's all? Just plain Smith? It's enough. My name's Jan. Your name is Jan? God damn it, your name is not Jan, it's Mona Lisa! Baby. <laughs> My name is Queenie. Of all I survey. Give him time to take his pants off, super stud. Did you meet Rocky? Yeah. Have you talked to Rocky? Well, Rocky thinks he's the big rooster in here. <laughs> wow. Hey, punk. Welcome home. It's my first time. Guess you shouldn't be here at all, huh? Did you get a bum rap? What the judge wants to know, honey, is... Well, what special talent brought you this vacation? What'd you do? Are you a shoplifter? Maybe you're like myself. Do you make all of your house calls when nobody's at home? No. You can trust me. Come on, baby, what'd you do? Were you picked up in the park? Did you roll a drunk? Did you rape the girl next door? Look, I, I, I really don't feel like talking about it right now, if you don't mind. Well, the shy type, huh? No, I, I just mind my own business. Well, honey, you better tell us, because I can't stand the suspense. You can ask Mona. She screwed all around the mulberry bush. Little bitch. I had to go all the way to the friggin' office to find out. Why don't you leave him alone? How long's your sentence? Six months. Mine too. But you'll get used to the routine. What's your ambition, kid? You want to kiss ass? Will you please ignore him? It's hard to do. Not if you listen to the politicians. Politicians in here? Honey, we have all kinds of politicians in here. Now, I'm a politician. Oh, mother is indeed a politician. You see, we're the ones who are smart enough to go right up to the front office and get a few of the better things, you know? Well, we get um, new shirts and we get press trousers and I get lightweight booties. And of course, we get tailor made cigarettes. I don't smoke. You just take your deck of weed and you give them to your mother. My mother? Me, honey. Who else? Tailor maids are hard to get, but they'll give you tobacco once a week and you can use that to trade for things. Thank you. I'll wangle you a good deal and you won't have to do any hard time. I do have friends. The faggot wants to fix you up with an old man. She thinks you're ripe for tomato season. Well, if the faggot does fix him up, baby, I'm gonna fix him up with a star. And no walk-on like yourself. 
Let's help with us. He's our little working girl over here, Mona. See, she spends all day sewing pants for all the guys to wear. See, she only got one complaint. She can't find nothing in them when she finishes. Is that what I'm going to be doing all day, for Christ's sake, sewing pants? Oh, honey, I doubt it. The tailor shop and the laundry room are especially for the girls. Did you see my toothpaste? But I love the laundry since you made me poor, lady. <laughs> the only place you left in here I can still get bleach. To keep myself a natural blonde. It's easier to show your ass bending over a tub than under a sewing machine. You've got a one-track mind, Rocky. It's all dirt. <laughs> my shovel's clean. Oh, well, I don't see how, dear. Every time you get in the shower, you got it up somebody's ditch. <laughs> I think you have something on your nose, darling. <laughs> They're not just stupid shit. Put it back. Okay. Mother. You eat it. God! Get my nose! Oh, 
Hooray for... You love it? You know, it's really peaceful here with Rocky Solitaire. I hope they leave him in there to rot. Even Jan. Jan who? Jan. He's like a, a different person when Rocky's not around. What's that supposed to mean, Doctor? I mean, he's not so nervous and all that. Well, she makes me nervous with all of that reading shit. Do you know she's going to do Shakespeare at the Christmas show? Shakespeare at the Christmas show. Reading. What's she trying to prove? It's a relief to read once in a while. There are other ways to get you relief. Queenie. Yes. Cool it. Tomorrow's another day. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna call a guard. Good idea. I'll call him. Hey, God! Playing your funny games again, huh? Rocky. We're just having some fun. You wouldn't hurt the kid. Fuck off. Come on, you guys. Just now. Good. Uh, what about the uh, uh, Ketsa? He won't bother you anymore. Huh? Huh? with a man getting his oats.
Please, for God's sake, I'm on an errand of mercy. Oh. Merci beaucoup. La -da! Hi, fellas. Here, darling, read. Don't watch this damn thing. You'll get pimples. Oh, how sweet. But you may rise. You'd better get up, dear. That's how I started. Cigars, cigarettes, Vaseline. You got a dildo? Oh, a man with taste. How are you, baby? Doctor, this patient is dead. <laughs> Welcome to death row. Hello, Ralph. Tell me something. How'd you uh, get this beat? From screwdriver. Who else? Oh. <laughs> he wants me. How's your love life? Oh, a bit on the sick side, like you can see. Isn't it you asleep? Yeah. He's always asleep. My mother has a small shop in the last year. Menthol. Excuse me. Menthol. Hmm? Stocks are a bit low, but I can get you a few things. All right, first of all, I need some peroxide. I've been using laundry bleach. Are you ready? It's doing a Fanny Skeffington number on my head. Oh, and Mona wants some aspirin. And I need adhesive tape. Not this shit, though. Two inches, huh? And some cold cream. And do you have any uppers? Speed kills, baby. You still taking that shit? Only when I swallow, dear. Have you got them or not? Yeah, I got it. Just the uppers? You don't want any downers? Downers? I need downers. This dump is a downer. I need ups, darling. Ups! Ups, 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 are you ready for Mona, dear? She's going to do Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. But not me. I am going to disrobe 18 yards of black cotton. Mona's going to sew herself blind. And I think I'm getting a pair of heels from Warden Gasher's maid. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I'm not queer. I got a girl. You've got a girl? You've got a girl? Well... Where is she? Where's your girl? Where'd she go, honey? Where's your girl? Is she in here? Help, help! I think there's a woman in here! <laughs>
Good morning. Miss hey, Minnie, you should have brought these big tits with you. Give me those snaps. Because the best could have had a real ball. Come on. A rock. Give me this picture. Come on, give me those. Rocky? 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 Come on, give me this picture. Help me. Oh, Help me. Help me. Help me. I don't have them. I don't have them here, boy. Come on. <laughs> Run, bitch. Here, Smitty. You don't have to take it. I'll smart him up. <laughs> trying to help. Well, you're just too good for the friggin' world, bitch. Why don't you stop it and get off? Hey, give me the job. I'll fix her up real good. She'll get it soon enough. Poor bitch. Look at yourself. Why don't you fix your clothes? You ain't had a friggin' thing that fits you since you fell through the door. I get enough. Well, I like everything special, Mona. I can't feel sexy in rags. I don't really care what I look like in here. Obviously. You see, Smitty, I try to sharpen up the chicks that I like. And the guys. I could get something for my headache. Why don't you get something for your headache, baby? Come on, I'll help you. Poor abused Mona. Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters! Mr. Peters! You didn't make my bed! Knock it off, you guys! Let me tell you about Mona's independence. First goddamn day she was here, dear, she tripped into the gymnasium. She was gonna be friendly, see? Well, a bunch of the dudes are playing basketball, and they spot dumbass standing along the side. So they con her into the storeroom to get some equipment, and she goes alone. Oh, well, let's see now. Where in the world could that equipment be? Is it in here? <laughs> Eight guys followed her in, closed the door, and banged her into the floor. She had to hold onto the wall just to walk for a week. And now she's... Public property. Honey, you can't be independent in here unless you've got somebody to back you up. And one is a lot better than eight. How can they get away with something like that? Oh, it was an accident. Wasn't it, Rocky? It was a terrible, terrible accident. You want to go gangbang, huh? Hey, aren't you supposed to give me a work assignment or something? After breakfast. Maybe you'll come work. 